Hey guys, so today I wanted to share some options for displaying and storing your mini prints. So first up, vertical visual display. These are, let's see, I think they're Project Life photo holders by Becky, Becky Higgins, sorry, I'm trying to like get all up in there, by Becky Higgins, and I think I picked these up at Walmart but you should be able to find these in the scrapbooking section of your local craft store or Walmart, any sort of big box store like that. They are just photo holders that uh, are meant to go in a large format binder, but I just go ahead and I magnet them to my grid wall. Another display option would be photo albums like this. This is a nicer one that I picked up from Michaels and the format isn't quite right because most of my prints are vertical rather than horizontal, but it seems to work anyway, and it's got a huge amount of storage in it. So as you guys can see, I have a lot of original art as well as some fan art in here. And if you're not willing to spring for something like this, I used a little photo album from Dollar Tree, so I paid you know, a buck for this, holds 48 four by six photos. You can use a little photo album like this on your table as well and it takes up far less space so next up is organization for a while i used to use these coupon holders i think i got this off of amazon you can get them at walmart you can even get them at dollar tree and what's good about these is they have sections and they even have little um you could label this like yuri on ice to help differentiate where your prints are. So if you don't have too, too many prints, this is actually a great solution, but this started to get unwieldy. So I switched over, sorry about this, to these Iris brand photo boxes. They come in a couple of different sizes. And what's cool about these boxes is that you can get these inserts for them. And these are photo archival, so they'll actually protect your prints. So these are designed for photo storage and they are a little pricey, but they hold up quite well. You can also just take, if you're doing like a small one day, uh, very theme specific show, you could just grab one or two of these or you could grab the small box rather than having to grab the big box. This thing only comes with me to larger anime shows or shows where, um, three day shows where I tend to make a lot more money. And uh, for one day shows like Free Comic Book Day coming up at Rick's Comic City here in Nashville, I'm just going to bring this little box and maybe one of these. So these are some very easy, inexpensive, simple ways to get started with your mini prints. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And be sure to check out howtobeaconartist.tumblr.com where myself and Kiriska share loads of convention tutorials, merchandise options, all sorts of good stuff if you are interested in doing anime or comic conventions as part of your income. So thank you guys so much. Oh wait, there's actually one more thing. So since we're selling basically photos, these are photo prints, um, you may want to have some sort of bags for your customers to take their purchases home with. And these are actually for my larger five by seven pearl prints. Um, but I use little glassine bags for most of my photo prints so that my customers don't have to carry that in their hands because photo prints, especially glossy photo prints, will pick up fingerprints and they'll look like garbage by the time you get home. So if you are gonna sell photo prints, please do plan on having some way for your customers to carry them away from your table so the merchandise doesn't get wrecked. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out howtobeaconartist.tumblr.com for more conventions, tips, tricks, and tutorials. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more art goodness. I'm Becca Hilburn. I'll see you guys again really soon. Bye! Bye.